All the shots from the Thors compiled onto the, the Vikings wouldn't be enough to stop this devastating push. I do think that actually taking down supply depots at this point would probably be a very good idea. These two in the background here, um, I think if he took those down, he would lock in, uh, he would supply block Fu. So Fu in a pretty rough position here. He's not going to land this orbital command. He should be sometime in the near future. There it is. It's going to be landing there. I assume that the mules are going to be dropping from this command center as well over here. So expect to see mules sometime in the near future dropping on the minerals. Okay, just training SCVs. I guess he's not going to use that energy. He might want it. He might be saving it up for a potential scan. He might expect that maybe Cloak Banshees might be coming in. He has absolutely no idea, but you can tell that he's definitely fighting to try to stay in this game. However, if you do see mules drop anywhere, it's definitely going to be at this base over here. You don't want to drain out your main if you don't have to. We do have a scan going up there from Jinro. He's going to be get, taking a couple shots on this tank, and if the tank goes down... Wow, really nice play there from Jinro, sending up the unseached tank, taking one pop at the uh, siege tank there of Fu, and it looks like Fu's going to be sieging up here, and he's going to be taking shots at this siege tank on the low ground. That tank's going to go down, but not before he gets off a shell on these marines here. All those marines are going to go down. We do have marines being piled up to the front here to give himself vision on these units here, and it looks like that tank is going to go down. We have one Thor. No SCVs coming off the line yet to repair. There they are. Four SCVs coming off the line. A Banshee actually coming out for Fu. Didn't spot that one out. So Banshee is going to be coming out here. And he's going to be doing some harassment. Cloak is actually almost finished. Cloak is finished now. So pretty interesting position we're in here now. Where Cloak Banshees could actually be the saving grace for Fu here. And the, this expansion has not landed yet. We don't see. There's the engineering bay coming up now. We're just going to take a look at the. Uh, just for fun we'll take a look at the APM. We do have 115 and 130. Uh for Fu and Jinro respectively and actually this base is fully functioning there are those mules I was talking about and expect there's the other mule coming down there as soon as they hit 50 energy uh, very very nice play there uh, keeping on top of things and actually I think Jinro should be pretty well aware of the fact that this base is up he should definitely come back and deal with this um, I want to take a look at the production tab there we go. So we do have Banshees and Tanks coming out for Fu. So finally making the switch over to Tanks. He's finally going to be able to get those up. Thors. Not sure what that was all about, but he uh, he went for the Thors, and I don't think it worked out necessarily all that well for him. And trying to salvage it. Is he going to salvage it? Yeah, he is actually going to salvage that. So um, not getting the kill there, unfortunately, for Fu. But Fu is actually, I would argue that he's actually ahead at this point right now. Just take a look at the income tab. Yeah, he's actually dominating right now in the income side of things. However, I don't think he has the production necessarily to keep up with all of this. We do have another command center actually coming out, so going on to three command centers on still 111 production. Pretty interesting stuff there. We have no upgrades coming out yet, um, and I definitely think that he should be looking for that. It's not all that expensive, especially at this late stage of the game. Um, I expect that, yeah, there's just tons of SCVs piled up here. He's really going to want to send these over here. I think General's playing a little bit too cautiously for his own good, but it looks like a Banshee's going to step on the fray here. Take a lot of shots there, and it looks like... Um, there the Marines go, getting that scan off. However, though, um, he's wasting that scan, whereas Fu, I don't think, has wasted uh, any scans on the opposing army. So he's going to be significantly ahead in those mules, and he's going to be, um, as a result, way ahead in economy. No transfer on SCVs going out yet. So playing way too passively. No, uh, no mining on this geyser either. I don't know what's going on here for Jinro. Not setting his rally point. Two idle SCVs. Only five tanks and a, a scattering of marines here. Switching over, getting a raven, a viking. Just a whole whack of units that I don't think are really going to do all that well for him unless he can get those tanks in a really nice position. And I can only assume, yeah, siege mode is up for Fu. So Fu is actually going to turn this around somehow. I don't know how this happened. Uh, well, I do know how it happened. I just don't know how General let it happen. It looks like actually siege tanks going up here. One shot going off there on uh, one of Fu's tanks there getting off one shot but before being taken down. It looks like, yeah, the scan is going to go off and the siege tank is going to be able to get taken down. One more shot. There it is. That siege tank is going to go down, however, with the Cloak Banshee overhead, but the Viking and the Raven to, Raven to counter it. So just, these guys just hanging on by the skins of their teeth, or sorry, Jinro is, with the skins of his teeth with this unit selection. One Raven and one Viking to try to deal with that Cloak Banshee. Very interesting. Got uh, Fu with these units in the background here, and it looks like actually that Viking is going to get taken down, and probably this tank as well. Yeah, that tank's going to get completely smashed. This Banshee with four health, Raven in the air, not sure what he's doing there. Um, no Banshees on the general side of things, and it looks like 
Um, General is just completely unaware of the fact that there's a base right here and a base right here. General knows absolutely nothing. So very unfortunate for him. Income, uh, ha having been dominated by Fu this entire game, the transfer, once that transfer goes off, you're going to see this number skyrocket. Yeah, there's the number's dropping to 360, but that number's going to be just absolutely skyrocketing in the next couple of seconds. There it goes to 900. I assume it's probably going to go to somewhere around 1200. And uh, yeah, something like that. Sea Shanks on the low ground. Wow, 1500. Sea Shanks on the low ground going to be able to take out some of this production here. And actually, the dropship overhead dropping the Marines into the base. And a very smart play there by Fu lifting that off. He's going to be able to back out that factory and uh, land it elsewhere. Actually, he's going to be landing it on Tech Lab. So he did have this pre planned. It looks like we've got a Marauder on the field for Jinro as well. So Jinro trying to do what he can here. Actually, taking out the main production, I think, is. It's almost like desperation, but he's kind of got to do it at this point. It looks like another command center coming down on the left side of the field here. But I don't think that's necessarily the best play right now. Um, he probably, Fu should have definitely went for that, uh, all those production buildings. He should have went for them a, da a hell of a lot earlier. Auto turrets being plopped down there to try to deal with the SCVs, which were taking out the Marines, which were being healed by the medevac and defended by the Marauders. And it looks like with four bases to two, Fu might actually lose this game to Jinro here. No production here. Triple queuing tanks. Never a good sign. He really should have lined that up ahead of time. And it looks like he is actually going to lose this game. So expect GG any second now. This bite, this Banshee is going to go down to the Viking and the Marines. And the scan. And Jinro still doesn't know about that side base. So theoretically, um, Fu could actually win this game if he somehow... If he fended off all of this junk right here, if he could just secure these lines, he'd be able to fend it off and defend and... Yeah, so WWGG coming out from these players and uh, wacky game. I expected Jinro to win it uh, way earlier on and then I expected Fu to just dominate and just silly turnarounds this game. But um, I think I'm going to do a couple more TVTs. I hope you guys enjoy and you can just kind of cope with the fact that my video is going to pause every now and again because hard drives sometimes don't uh, aren't necessarily the happiest things in the world. So GG guys, I'll see you in the next one.